Hi there, my name is Neeta Pradhan and I'm going to be teaching you English. So today's topic of the day would be on nouns. So I shall now close my video to focus on the topic. We will now start with the topic. So you must be familiar with this word nouns. You have also discussed this in school, I guess. So we shall be learning more about it now in this lesson for today. We will start with the definition of nouns. All right, to understand this better, we shall now have a look at the slides where the details of it would be given here. All right, so you can now have a view here. We can see the definition given. First of all, nouns, name, people, places, things and ideas. So basically a noun is a naming word. Okay. So I shall write it here for you so that you can have a better look at it. So a noun is a naming word and nouns name people, places, things and ideas. So we see that these are the different categories that nouns would name. Okay, so one is people and then we have places, things and ideas. Now we shall take up each of this. So let us see for people, examples are given here, it could be the name of a teacher, okay, it could be the name of a president, doctor, we have people of so many professions, right, so noun could name any such people, can you give me one example of a noun which names people, okay, so I will write here one example so that you can understand this better. For example, my friend's name is Tom. Okay, so Tom, noun for people. Now, you can write your friend's name also out here. Okay, next is for places. So, for places, can you give me an example of places? There are so many places, right? For example, Australia. India. Where are you located right now? You can write down the name of the place where you are located here okay the next one is about things so can you name some of the things that you see around you for example again here i can see in front of me i have a computer which is a thing So I'll write that here. I also see a book, which is a thing. Okay, so likewise, please fill it up here what you see around you, some of the things. And then nouns also name ideas, which include happiness, bravery, anger, love. These are different ideas which come under the category of, of nouns. 
Now, these are the different types of nouns. This is how nouns can be classified. So they could be classified into common nouns and proper nouns, as we can see that here. And common nouns can be further divided into abstract, collective and concrete nouns. We will now discuss each of this in detail. So let us take up the definition of proper nouns. What are proper nouns? So these are specific names of persons, places, animals or things. They always have a capital letter. So again, for example, here, if I give you an example, the name, if I give you a name of a place, so the place, for example, New Zealand. So New Zealand is a proper noun, and this is how it would start with a capital letter. Now, common nouns, as we have discussed, can be divided into concrete nouns. And what are concrete nouns? So, these are the objects and things that we can see here, taste, touch or smell. Let's take up the example in the picture given there. It shows the picture of a football. Football here is a concrete noun. Now, can we see the football? Yes. Can we touch the football? Yes, we can. So it is a concrete, common concrete noun. Likewise, if we see the next example of a cake. So can we touch the cake? Yes. Can we smell it? Yes. And we can see it. So it is also a concrete noun. We have other examples here of a concrete noun which includes boy, book, and computer, as you can see that in the picture out there. And then we have common nouns divided into collective nouns. And what are they? They are groups of nouns. For example, the first one here, we see a group of children. So children here is a collective noun. A herd of sheep. Okay, so... Herd of sheep, collective noun, a swarm of bees, as we can see in the next picture. That is also a collective noun. And then we have common nouns being divided into abstract nouns. And these are the nouns that we cannot see, but we have them. That means we cannot physically see such nouns. Okay. For example, pride, this is a quality that we can have, but we cannot physically see it. In reality, we cannot see love, dreams. We cannot see dreams in reality, but we can just have them. So, so dreams, pain, friendship, all these are other examples of abstract nouns. So, you can look over this chart which, con uh, which contrasts the concrete and abstract nouns. The student. Intelligence is an abstract noun which describes the student. Similarly, firefighter. So, bravery. That means if the firefighter is very brave, so he has this bravery quality. And dog, loyalty. Loyalty here is the abstract noun. As for trade by the dog, and convenience as to computer, which is a concrete noun. So we see here that nouns name people, which include the common nouns and proper nouns. Here are some more examples of common nouns given, like girl, student, lifeguard, and other examples of proper nouns may include. Ted, President Bush, so Mrs. Neely, so so many other we can see here. 
we also have singular nouns and plural nouns these are some of the examples of singular and plural nouns as you can see here and then we have collective nouns for example family family is here is a collective noun you also see that nouns name places which include common nouns example of common nouns which is a place like auditorium home restaurant and proper nouns like yellowstone park that is a proper noun of a place again for places singular we have city city is a place which is singular and for plural we could have cities okay or other places are there examples forests stadiums so you could now take up a, a small exercise and do this by yourself in the notepad so take up each of these okay common proper singular plural leave the rest of the space blank and fill it up think of the common nouns which are places proper nouns singular nouns and plural nouns which relate to places you could do this as your exercise for home practice i repeat on a notepad write down common proper singular and plural for places and then fill it up use uh, some places of your own think of some places which you can fill it, fill it up under these categories okay for example common nouns for places if i had to do this task i would include here under common i would include this place room so room is a common noun and it is a place okay so this is how you have to also go ahead and complete this task that's for your home practice further we can see that nouns name certain things these are the category of things under common nouns we have tissue gelatin and marker and under proper nouns we have kleenex jello these are specific these are very very specific okay so can you tell me what is the difference between common nouns and proper nouns now that we have learned so far on these the differences between common and proper okay so i shall help you with this we say that common nouns are general while proper nouns are more specific okay so common nouns are general they could relate to to any of the people places or things and proper nouns have very specific names for example if i give an example here of a, a particular place for example australia so there's only one australia so it is very specific we cannot have more than that okay so it is given to a specific place person or thing nouns also name qualities and ideas these are some of the examples we have freedom wisdom anger and for proper nouns we have like christianity it's a particular idea it's a religion nouns also name events these are some of the events that are mentioned here can you think of any such important event and write it down here
nouns have number we have already learned about these they can be in the singular or plural form when it comes to collective singular for example navy so that's a collective noun and it is singular and collective plural would be for example families families is plural and collective nouns also have gender for example the masculine gender feminine and neuter neuter gender is uh, not addressed as a masculine or feminine for example book so i would address it as, as it okay then owner could be both owner can be a male also or a female also so we have the compound noun which we shall learn more about it in the in our next session we would now have a quiz to check your skills so i would like you to take down this quiz for your homework okay so we can see here i'll give you an example here as to how this is to be done it says here what sort of noun is this picture that you can see here so we can see the picture of a tower okay so which category would it fall into you can see four categories proper concrete collective or abstract okay so this is a tower we can see the picture of a tower so this is a concrete noun because we can see it and we can also feel it so it's a concrete noun that the answer so i would just put a tick mark here concrete now likewise there are the other questions so here are the other questions i would like you to note them down okay these are the questions so some more questions Okay so we have now come to the end of the lesson and how confident are you at your different nouns so mark any of these so just mark, mark on this okay so yes excellent very good so this is what uh, this is just a review of what we have learned in today's class as we can see that nouns name a person place thing quality or idea and they are common and proper nouns which the nouns can be categorized into nouns have number singular or plural collective and they can be masculine or feminine nouns may be concrete or abstract and nouns can also be classified as compound nouns where they can be written as a single word or written as two words or as a hyphenated word all right and with that we have come to the end of our lesson for today please go ahead with your homework and i shall have a look at it in our next class and we shall cover more topics in the upcoming classes so it was great having a class with you and bye for now and see you again in the next session bye